Hi, welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials, yet another important uh, module from the playlist Measurements and Instrumentation. It's something about making use of a Kelvin's double bridge. So why the need of Kelvin's double bridge? Is it a new one? No, it's an extension to Wheatstone Bridge here, or the basic layout of a Wheatstone Bridge. Right, so what is the need of, uh, why do we go for Kelvin's double bridge? When the measurement is in the range 0 to 1 ohm, it's a very low range, isn't it? So, make, while measuring unknown resistances between that range, a resistance like here, practical resistance looks like this one. This is the resistance. These are known as connecting leads. These are known as connecting leads made up of a metal, usually made up of a metal conducting material. Uh, introducing some significant resistance, even these connecting leads has some resistance. That introduces a significant resistance value while measuring low value resistances we have to the main objective is uh, the main object the main objective of uh, making use of kelvin's double bridge is that we need to eliminate the interference of lead resistance while measuring low value resistance from 0 to 1 ohm that's the main objective so coming back to the wheatstone bridge layout it's simply a wheatstone bridge here the detector d and uh, supply voltage dc supply voltage v Right. So how the connection goes on, we'll have resistance, standard resistances, it's a R1 connected over here, it's a R2 connected over here, R2 and uh, this may be, R3 may be connected over here, it's a R3 and uh, that unknown resistance, low value resistance, low value unknown resistance ranging from 0 to 1 ohm is connected over here, this is the place where that with the Rx. Okay, and uh, we need to maintain some condition to this. These is this is the connecting lead from this point to this point. These connecting leads introduces some resistance. That resistance which has to be eliminated, right? So the main objective of the Kelvin's double bridge is this to eliminate the interference of lead resistances. Here, this lead resistance has to be eliminated while measuring. Uh, let the mathematical equation speak on our behalf. It's more easy to convince with the mathematical expression, right? So stay with me. Let's see what happens. How to prove that. Now here, let this be, uh, let this point be A and uh, somewhere else it's, let this be, let this point be C. Okay. So let the total lead resistance, total lead resistance be Ry. We have to eliminate this Ry. Uh, in the derivation, we, sta we start the derivation including the Ry and maintaining some condition at the end, we don't have this one. So maintaining that condition eliminates the interference of lead resistance while measuring low value resistances, 0 to 1 ohm resistances, right? So this is how and uh, here the, we have divided it's so A to C. We have to find a place from A to C. We have to find a place from A to C. To connect the detector here we have to connect this one right it's in the air it's not connected this side is connected okay but this is left in the air we have to connect it we have to find a place from A to C let it be some we have found this place let it be B let it be B so what is Ry Ry can be totally written as Ry can be written as R A B plus R B C R B C right the total resistance R Y equal to R A this one R A B plus B C right so what what is the significance of finding this place B we have to find a random place R B to connect the detector in such a way that we have to find we have to maintain a ratio it's uh, the ratio is R B C this one R B C this one by R A B is equal to R1 upon R2. This by this should be equal to this by this ratio, not the value, the ratio I'm talking about, right? You may think these values should be, no, this is not this value, but the ratio should be in such a way that R B C, R, this, this by this should be equal to this by this that is the main point now this maintaining this ratio will eliminate the interference of lead resistance let's prove how it happens now this is the main game changing equation game changing condition in the kelvin's double bridge right so in the absence of uh, ry 
what according to in the absence of r close this away uh, in the absence of r y what is that uh, under balance what equations comes into the picture at balance in the wheatstone bridge it's nothing but product of opposite impedances are equal like uh, product of opposite impedances r1 into r3 being equal to r2 into rx right into rx this is the general equation for a wheatstone bridge at balance the product of opposite impedance we didn't include the lead resistance yet now including the re including the lead resistance it's r1 as it is yeah guys ab is connected to r3 now r3 plus ab comes into the picture into it's not simply r3 we have to include this lead resistance it's a r3 plus r a b which is equal to r2 as it is r2 as it is now this isn't simply rx but this resistance also is added to rx that is r b c now it's a r b c plus r x now this is the complete equation including the lead resistance r y right so what it will be what transformation takes it it's a r1 r3 plus r1 r a b which is equal to r2 r b c plus r2 r x this is the uh, after simplification now considering this ratio again we need to do something with this one that ratio r b c r b c by r what is that a b which is equal to r1 by r2 can we do something can we do this plus 1 equal to plus 1 yeah we can do it right so simplifying this one what it will be r a b in the denominator simply as it is so in the numerator we'll be having r a b plus r b c which is equal to it's a r 2 in the denominator is r 1 plus r 2 in the numerator guys can you see this can you make out if what this is this can be substituted with something else it's a r a b plus r a b plus r b c what it is it's this one so this can be substituted with r y r y by r a b which is equal to what r 1 plus r 2 upon r 2 from this what will be r a b our r a b will be equal to r 2 r y by r 1 plus r 2 this is my expression for r a b a very important one we need to plug in this one in the ongoing discussion considering this expression once again rewriting it uh, r y r y equal to what r a b plus r b c r a b plus b c r b c sorry it's i'm taking this kali madde na it's a r a b plus r b c right and from that r b c will be r b c will be equal to r y minus r a b substituting the value of r a b which we have just derived here in this expression that gives us r b c will be equal to r y minus of uh, minus r a b it's a r 2 r y by r 1 plus r 2 it's r 2 and uh, taking out r y as common we are left with 1 minus r 2 by r 1 plus r 2 this can be further simplified as r y out of the bracket as it is here it's a r 1 plus r2 in the denominator cross multiplying it's a r1 plus r2 this one and multiplying minus r2 this one and my final expression for rbc will be rbc will be equal to ry and something gets cancelled over here it's a i guess plus r2 minus r2 gets cancelled and we are left with ry and uh, r1 upon r1 plus r2 this is my expression for r b c r a c is in the above here it's r a b it's a r b c 
okay so coming back to the first expression which we are uh, which we started from here and uh, what it does it's a r1 okay like r1 r3 plus uh, rab what is the what is our rab it's r2 ry by r1 plus r2 which is equal to r2 rx as it is r2 rx as it is plus r2 what is rbc i guess these are rbc it's uh, r y into r1 by r1 plus r2 right so what it is is simplifying this one what we have is r1 r3 plus r1 r2 ry by r1 plus r2 which is equal to r2 rx plus what is this r2 ry r1 by r1 plus r2 guys uh, this is the entire expression and can we do some modification now this is something gets cancelled over here it's uh, here r1 r2 ry by r1 plus r2 this side r1 r2 ry this one gets cancelled here this is how it gets cancelled okay so finally we are left with r1 r3 which is equal to r2 rx which gives us rx is equal to r1 by r2 into r3 so from the in the beginning we included the lead resistance ra and rb and finally we have eliminated we made sure that the lead resistance gets eliminated by the end we reach for the unknown resistance rx so how that was possible by maintaining this ratio now this maintaining this ratio helped us to eliminate the interference of lead resistance while measuring unknown resistance rx which is a very low value resistance 0 to 1 ohm so this is how this is my final expression i repeat we started the analysis including the lead resistance r y r a b and r b c r a b and r b c by the end we have we that got eliminated by maintaining this ratio now this is the basic principle of developing a practical kelvin double bridge this isn't the practical kelvin double bridge the practical kelvin double bridge will be incorporating a second set of ratio arms now this is the basis for that practical kelvin's double bridge hope you understood this derivation if you find it useful please support me with your valuable subscription and a valuable share thank you so much